Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk all about mascara and the history of mascara and kind of compare different vintage cake mascaras that I happened to find on eBay. I found a few that I think might be actually really old because they're the same ones that I'm seeing in some of these books that I got. So I have two books that I find really helpful. This one I believe is by the author or the founder of Besame Cosmetics. Um, there's a lot of interesting things in this one. And this is where I kind of found my mascara that I got. And this one also is really good by Lisa Elbridge. It's uh, face paint, the story of makeup, and there's lots of good pictures in here. So these are two books that I use quite often for inspiration and research. All right, let's jump right in and let's talk about the history of mascara. And if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Laura, and this is where I talk about all things vintage, so please don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. Let's start out with the Victorian era for mascara from 1837 all the way up to 1902. So the first mascara was developed by Eugene Rimmel, a per perfumer to Queen Victoria, and this is correct, Rimmel London. If you know the brand now, that was the person who founded the first ever mascara. It comprised of coal dust and a Vaseline jelly. Into the early 1900s, in 1916, fake eyelashes were invented by an American film director, David W. Griffith, to create a fluttering lash effect for the movies. And in 1917, Maybelle Williams worked with a drug manufacturer to come up with the lash brow line. This formula was made up of petroleum jelly and oils to provide sheen. Eventually their trademark was known as Maybelline, which we all know now as Maybelline Cosmetics. In 1931, the first lash curler was invented by William McDonnell, who called it Curl Lash. In 1933, the term mascara came into play and Maybelline designed a 10 cent package sold in drugstores. In the early 1940s, waterproof mascara formulas were introduced. In 1958, Revlon introduced the first mascara package in a tube with a spiral tip wand. In 1960, Revlon invented the first colored formula with its brush on mascara and hues like mauve and dark green. And in 1971, the cult favorite by Maybelline hit the market. And this is the infamous Great Lash Mascara, which basically looks the same today as you can see. It's that iconic pink and green tube, which you can still buy at the drugstores today. So now that we talked a little bit about the history of mascara, bear in mind this is just a brief history, kind of focusing on some key points in the 20th century. I'm going to show you a few items that I picked up on eBay in the last month or two. I was kind of I knew I wanted to do a video about mascara, so I was kind of collecting different things that I kind of found along the way start with the oldest one and this is a Maybelline mascara. It doesn't actually have the cake part in it, it just has the little wand. It looks very old, it even says Maybelline on the little brush. Um, it's just super, I don't know why but I'm have, thinking this could even be from the 1920s or maybe 1930s when they had the 10 cent box. It says Velvet Black Maybelline Mascara, and then it says Chicago, USA. It just looks so old, the packaging, and it's all cardboard. But I do think it could be even from the 1930s when they introduced these for 10 cents a pop. And it even has the original instructions in it. It talks about Maybelline and how it was founded in 1917. There's no date on this. It says approved by Good Housekeeping. And it says how to beautify it with Maybelline. On the back it has instructions. Based on the illustrations and the makeup, I'm thinking ugh, it probably is the 1930s because the ladies makeup looks very 1930s to me. Something about it just even has almost a little bit of an art deco look. So it could be even from the late 1920s. Let me know what you think. I actually noticed that in the Classic Beauty, the History of Makeup book, they had the same one as an example from 1917, so maybe this is older than we think, I'm not sure. I think it's really unique, it's very fragile, I can just tell that it's super old. I'm just wondering if there was maybe a cake mascara that came with it in a separate container, I'm not entirely sure. So this is the first item that I got. Moving on is a vintage Max Factor that I got. 
paper inside is almost disintegrating, it's so old. A little bit it ripped off just as I was picking it up. And it is the Eyelash Makeup Max Factor Hollywood and it has instructions. And it says it's made in the USA by Max Factor & Co. Hollywood, California. It says moisten brush with water and rub on cake until proper consistency is obtained. Then apply to lashes and allow to dry. And it says that you can refill it and, and add it to the container as well. You can see this one was actually never used. It looks like it's brand new and it has a little Max Factor brush as well. The brush doesn't say Max Factor. This looks a lot newer than that Maybelline one. I'm thinking this is probably the 1950s base on the outside. Could be even a bit later. And then on the back, apparently this is blue. It says Eyelash Makeup Blue Max Factor Hollywood USA. So let me know what you think. I'm thinking a 1950s most likely. I got another 1950s. This one is Studio Girl. It was kind of like an Avon. Apparently my grandma sold Studio Girl's cosmetics, my mom told me. Um, I originally got this because I'm going to find a video with like swatching 1950s eyeshadows and find, finding newer versions. But as you can see, it has like a little cake mascara set. It actually has one for darker black and brown and there's also an eyebrow thing too. And there's a little brush, and when I'm comparing this brush to the Max Factor, it looks like these are both from the 1950s based on the brush, which makes me think that Maybelline one is a lot older than the 1950s. I'm thinking 1930s. So this is a Studio Girl kind of compact set. And nowadays, you can still actually buy cake mascara. I know all of you know about Besame mascara. This is kind of a classic one that comes in the little tin with the brush. Um, and then it has like a big block that you can even replace. The next one is one from Paris. It's called Long Sales Bonksa. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But it is a cake mascara and I kind of like the case better than the Besame one to be honest because it has the nice mirror and the brush is a lot bigger. I don't know. I kind of like this one better. I just like the seafoam green too. Um, trying both. I'm not noticing too much of a dif difference in the formula. Um, I actually find Cake Max here pretty hard to use. I like the wand because you can really get into the eyelashes and get like nice separation and lift. I actually started using the Cake Mascara on my eyebrows and more of an eyeliner, but I think I just need to practice a bit because I think it's just something you have to get used to. Last but not least is the Great Lash Maybelline Mascara. I used to use this when I was younger and I quite like it. It you know it gets the job done. It's a pretty good price point. I think it's like five dollars. And this is just the classic black. And this one's been around since 1972. And the packaging pretty much looks the same. And again, this one is by Maybelline. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Do you use cake mascara? Um, if you do, which brand do you use? Have you tried any of these two? Let me know. And also, if you know of the dates of that Maybelline or any of these, let me know too. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.